Hi. In 2010, I wrote a story for Dave, for my husband Dave. And it's a kid's story, really. I've always had this dream of getting it published, but with the end of days coming, I thought I wouldn't have a chance. So I thought if some of you are stuck at home with your kids, then maybe you'd like to read it. Or if you're a grown up, you might like to hear it too. So I'm going to read it out to you. It's called The Great Big Monster. <clears throat> I am the scariest monster. There's nobody worse in the land. I'm big and scary and dangerous. Nobody would dare hold my hand. If somebody sees me coming, they run straight towards all the rest. If somebody hears me roaring, then I'll sigh and hide in my nest. I am a big scary monster, but my family aren't the same. It's not them I take after, and they don't know where from I came. I'm colourful and loud and vibrant and bright and smelly and brash. Don't come too near my feet. My odour could give you a rash. Nobody knew I was lonely, and I had no other monsters to tell. So I made myself a poster about how my massive heart swells. I walked through the street showing everyone and boldly knocked on all the strangers' doors. But nobody liked my drawing and they didn't understand what it was for. For hours I yelled at the town people, trying to tell them how sad that I felt. But they thought my yelling was frightening. They screamed, Go away, monster, you smell. So I dragged my monster feet homewards, feeling lonelier and scarier than before. Nobody wants to help a monster who feels too lonely to roar. On my way back to my cave, I heard more yelling, but I was too tired to frighten people again. So I just threw my poster towards them and decided to give up and lie down. After a hundred years, I rolled over and decided to look around and found there lying next to me a scary monster not from my town. The monster was holding my poster and she'd been waiting for me there. We looked each other in our eyeballs and for ages we silently stared. Forever she had been wondering if there was someone out there like me. Forever I thought I would be lonely because there was only me like me. Finally we two monsters had found ourselves another and forever we will roam the towns and not be scared of each other. We are the scariest monsters but people no longer scream because how can you be frightened of the two happiest monsters the world has ever seen. So I hope you liked it. If you do, let me know. I've got a few more that I wrote. Um, one about when the monsters have babies. Um, so if you'd like to hear more, then please let me know. But I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye.